come to Pokhara uh, in the early morning. Usually I go for a morning walk and it's a beautiful walk by the lakeside. And with the morning golden hour, the mountains, the Himalayas are particularly beautiful, golden in color. So the mountain that you see on the right is the Annapurna, Annapurna South, I believe. And in the far distance, you can actually see the Taulagiri, the peak of Taulagiri, standing above 8,000 meters. So on our way towards Mustang today, we will be going through the Gandaki corridor, uh, which lies in between these two massive cliffs, in between Taulagiri and Annapurna. What's up, Dicky? Hold up. So, I'm a driver. I'm a Suresh Tamang. 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 Just see, Malko phones phones, but Ramayalu baato mande dance. Oh, ek aadat chhe ekdam gumni thau ni badi sa hamro. Ekdam Ramayalu vai rasa. Alright, so the journey begins to Mustang. Let's go. And we are off to Mustang. And today's destination is the village of Marfa, which is situated some 150 kilometers away from Pokhara. It's a beautiful day today. Clear blue sky and the beautiful view of mountains from here lakeside in Pokhara. We are on the highway, uh, Bagalong Highway, and this leads all the way towards uh, the city of Bagalong, uh, towards uh, Lomantang, and also to the Nepal Tibet border in uh, Lomantang. We are currently at an elevation of 700 meters at the moment. So today we will be climbing up to 2,800 meters. It's going to be a very scenic drive today, one of the most beautiful roads in Nepal. We are driving alongside the uh, river, uh, one of the major rivers in Nepal, it's called the Seti River. Uh, Seti in Nepali, it means uh, white. So the river is actually white in color, that is why it's called Seti River. And it originates from the Annapurna mountain range. From one of the deepest canyons in the world, there is actually a NHK documentary that featured this uh, Seti River course. You should probably see it. It's on the YouTube. It's, it's a beautiful, brilliant documentary. So we are at this location called Naya Pool. So from here, we can start uh, hiking and trekking to Annapurna region the classic Annapurna base camp track and the Gandruk Goribani track as well. From here you can also do the Cobra Dara track. Be sure to check out those videos on our YouTube channel. Today's drive from Pokhara towards Marfa is a beautiful scenic drive alongside rivers, canyons and mountains. The road is very well paved, it's in a very good condition, most of the road seems to be in a good condition and uh, it's going to be a really fun and adventurous drive. Okay, so we are currently on our way towards uh, Bagalung Bazar. The river on the right side is the Kali Gandaki river. Uh, it's a little difficult to see at the moment but it's right there on the right side. And it actually flows from the upper Mustang Valley. Okay. So today we will be driving alongside this river through the Kali Gandaki Gorge uh, in between high mountains, the Taulagiri and the Annapurna range and into the Mustang region. I'd like to also point out a one of the tallest bridges in Nepal, as you can see up there, that's the suspension bridge. Okay, so our journey continues. We are heading towards a temple known as Kalikastan Temple. The Temple of Kalika Bhagwati, also known as Bagalung Kalika Bhagwati Temple, is a significant Hindu temple located southeast of the town of Bagalung in western Nepal.
According to local folklore, the king of Parvat district, Pratap Narayan Singh Malla, received an idol of goddess Kalika as part of the dowry system in his marriage with King Mani Mukunda Sen's daughter. Whilst returning to his residence after the marriage ceremony, the bride, groom and the others from the marriage procession took shelter in the forest. Following day, not a single person was able to move the idol. So the king constructed a temple on that very spot. Okay, so we are now on the one of the highest suspension bridge in Nepal. It's known as the Gandaki Golden Bridge. It's next to the Kalika Sun Temple. So if you are on the way to Bagalum, then be sure to check out this uh, huge bridge. Gandaki Golden Bridge is a suspended foot bridge with a span of 567 meter. The bridge is over the Kali Gandaki River at an astounding height of 122 meters. It became the second longest bridge of its kind after the opening of Sky Bridge in Czech Republic. Prior to that, it was the world's longest foot bridge. We have now reached uh, Beni Bazar. It's about five kilometers downhill from Bagalum. This city lies in the banks of Kali Gandaki River. Kali Gandaki, basically in Nepali, Kali means black. So the river is black in color. That's why it's called Kali Gandaki. So most of the rivers in Nepal, you know, they have a name based on its color. For example, Sunkosi, which is golden koshi. Dud Koshi, which you find in the trail in the Khumbu region, Dud means milk, white river. Now we are driving alongside the Kali Gandaki corridor. It's a deep valley. Actually, it's a, like a route of the high Himalayas. And we will be driving through these massive mountain ranges enter into the Tibetan Plateau. Driving alongside the raising torrent of Kali Gandaki river down below, it's mostly uphill now from the bazaar of Beni towards Marfa through some treacherous off-road terrains. It's a beautiful drive today, perfect blue sky, it's been clear, sunny. The mountain in the front, it's called the Nilgiri mountain. Nilgiri in Nepali, uh, blue mountain. So the color of this mountain is blue. That's why it's called Nilgiri. And it's one of the highlight, it's a highlight of this scenic off-road route. So we'll be driving through this uh, corridor, Ali Gandaki corridor, between these giant massive Himalayas, the roots of the Himalayas. Driving up through some difficult mountain road, yet beautiful and scenic route, we come across a popular tourist destination, the beautiful Rupse Waterfall. The waterfall is situated in a picturesque landscape 
It's a natural wonder, standing at an impressive height of 300 meters. Its awe-inspiring beauty and serene surrounding make it a popular destination for visitors seeking to immerse themselves in the wonders of nature. The sheer height of this waterfall sets it apart, creating a magnificent spectacle as the water plunges down from the heights above, creating a mesmerizing display of nature's power. Good afternoon from the Rupse waterfall. So as you can see behind me is a very tall waterfall called the Rupse waterfall. It is flowing directly from the Daulagiri mountain. Now, something that I would like to mention in this video is that currently I'm standing at the world's deepest gorge. So there's actually a mountain, there's the Annapurna over there and Daulagiri over there. And there you can see the gorge down below. That's the deepest gorge in the world. actually driving alongside the deepest gorge in the world so it's one of the major highlight of this route so actually we are driving through the Himalayas into Mustang and as you can see the road is not in a very good condition but anyhow it's, it's very adventurous with scenic view surrounding us and this scenery is going to change now To the village of Lete. So we are at Lete. This is a splendid village. Lies at the foothills of Mount Daulagiri. You can see Mount Daulagiri more than 8,000 meters high. Mount Tukuche. It's on the foothill. And this is like we are in the tree lines at the moment. Once we cross this valley, then we reach into the no tree line in the Mustang, which is like a more like a Tibetan plateau. You can see all over. We are surrounded by high mountains on the outside and it's currently two in the afternoon and we're quite hungry so what beautiful place to have lunch than this beautiful scenic location so let's have some food so beneath Mount Tukuche is this wonderful lodge known as uh, the Black Horse Inn and where we will be having our much needed lunch If you're wondering that Nepal is all about momo, sel roti, and tukpa, then you're wrong. There is more. There is thakali set, the authentic thakali cuisine of the thakali people in the Mustang region of Nepal. If you are driving or visiting the Mustang region, be sure to try out the fulfilling thakali set. Lete. We had an amazing lunch at the Black Horse Inn. Very tasty food 
and we are more than excited now to continue our journey. Not much left, about 20-25 uh, kilometers only, so we're taking it slow, just marveling and enjoying the beauty that is surrounding us. So this is one of the most beautiful valley in Nepal and a very scenic route. A little bit of off-road section. Yes. It's a fantastic view of the mountains. Okay, welcome to the village of Marfa. We have now reached uh, Marfa, situated at an altitude of around 2,700 meters above sea level. The current time is 4 p.m. and it's a beautiful uh, settlement. It's off season and all the hotels are closed here in Marfa. So we are heading back and going towards Jomsom. We just booked the hotel there. So let's go up towards Jomsom. Okay, back on the road again. So we initially decided to stay in Marfa, but because the hotels are closed, we are a little too early this season. So we are going up towards Jomsom. I booked the hotel there and uh, yeah, this is the view towards Jomsom. Uh, the Kaligandaki river flowing down below and of course the road is quite fun, full on off-road adventure. This road actually leads all the way to Upper Mustang and Nepal-Tibet border. So yeah, let's get going. Woohoo! Woohoo! Day two of our road trip adventure is coming to an end. We have now raised the town of Jomsom. Situated at an altitude of around 2,800 meters, it's approximately 160 kilometers drive from Pokhara. Welcome to the wild west of Nepal, the windy, charming town of Jomsom. Good evening. We are at uh, Jomsom. We are staying at this hotel. This is the only hotel that is open here at the moment. And we will be exploring this uh, Jomsom town. It's very windy in here. Uh, Jomsom Muktinath Mustang region is one of the windiest places in Nepal. And it's also quite cold, freezing cold at the moment. So let's explore this beautiful town. This is the Kali Gandaki river. We followed its track uphill all the way down from Beni. Here we have a beautiful view of the mountain with the setting sun. So in the distance in the foreground is the Jomsom Airport. It's also known as a very windy place. So the airport is not currently in operation. 
it's only in operation in the morning hour when the when there is not much wind. It's currently 5.30 in the evening. We are actually visiting uh, one of the regular viewers of Nepal 360, Mr. Pranish Tulatan Bai, who currently runs a Momo restaurant. So I'm pretty sure he's in there somewhere. Hello! Hello, Hello Pranish Bai! Oh. By the way, our brother Pranis also has a YouTube channel. Yes. I will link it in the description. Happy Valentine's Day! Eh? Oh, oh, tea time. Momo ready on this. Thank you so much Pranis for the tasty home-cooked momos that was really fulfilling and very delicious. And with that being said, we have come to the end of this episode. Be sure to check out our next episode where we will be visiting the spiritual heart of Mustan, the Muktinath temple and the surrounding region and the beautiful and the pristine lake of Tumba. If you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Feel free to comment and share it around. Thank you. Namaste. Right next to Pranisa Momo restaurant, we have a splendid view of mountains, high mountains. That peak is uh, Tilicho Peak and that one is Nilgiri. The one we saw on the way to us uh, Marfa from Lete from Beni. It's a very beautiful peaks. And this is the Jomsom Bazaar. As you can see it is off season. We don't have a lot of guests. 